Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Bog here, back again. This time we're taking a look at the Wanderer's Palace. This is a level 50 instance in Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Uh, you're looking at it from the viewpoint of my Black Mage, which is awesome. Mr. Lalafell, or Taru for those who played Eleven. This is going to be a quick boss highlight reel. Basically, I'll give you all a little strategies, what they do, and uh, kind of give you a little bit of tips and tricks here and there to successfully down the bosses, uh, even in duty finder groups like this one. This, this beginning here is just an honorable mention for the Tonberry on my left over there that's uh, currently destroying the other NPCs. As you start the instance, uh, these Tonberries are fighting treasure hunters and the treasure hunters will run away, in which the large Tonberry will spawn on the left. And as you kill these adds, you'll bypass him, however he will chase you through the instance, and you just have to keep a good pace. Uh, there's a few things you can do to get around him, like run by him and take a really big hit to the face, and he will leash, and other than that, it's just keeping a good pace. Alright, so first boss here, we have the Keeper of Paladome, and he's very simple, a uh, very straightforward strategy, you know, you have your tank run him to the corner, that's the easiest method that i found. And basically the only thing that he does through the fight is he'll do a very large cone attack, which for the majority of the fight he'll actually direct towards melee. At least that's what he did for me. So I didn't have a whole lot to actually dodge. You'll see it actually go off here in just a second, I believe. Outside of that, he has a ground targeted AoE, uh, which is just a circle that'll spawn on top of someone. You just have to stop what you're doing and move real quick. It's not that bad, and there's quite a bit of reaction time that you're allowed to actually have with it, so it's pretty forgiving. So you can see the cone did quite a bit of damage there. However, it's healable. Uh, it does apply a healing debuff, I believe, as well as the ground targeted AoE. Uh, that will be actually coming up here in a few seconds to go ahead and see. I believe it'll be cast on myself, if I recall correctly, that is. However, this fight is pretty easy. It, it's not exactly a good precursor for the rest of the instance because the next two bosses coming up are quite a bit more difficult than this one and uh, <laughs> the keeper here might give you a little bit of false hope. So that was the ground targeted AoE. Nothing big. Burn him down and let's just go ahead and move on to the next boss here. Alright, this guy is really annoying. The giant, I don't know, Bavaroi, whatever. Giant pudding, these things are notorious in other Final Fantasies as far as, you know, not taking magic damage and all kinds of stuff. They've been really mean through the years. This boss has two mechanics that are really the only things to look out for. He spawns adds like you just saw. Uh, for some reason our tank wanted us to focus the white ad. I believe that's because the white, purple, and green can cast Paralyze and Heavy on the group, uh, one or the other, and that could be very detrimental, and the blue adds can heal the boss. Now he only starts summoning a few off the first time, and you also see him target somebody here. That's the other mechanic of the fight. You can see that he targeted me and locked eyes. What I'm going to do is go ahead and run to a corner and sprint around for a second here. He doesn't lock on for very long, however, if he does get within reach of you, you will die in one hit. This is how we handled the end of the boss here. You can see that he spawns quite a few adds at the very end. So we just went in and piled up, and since I'm a black mage, we made really good use of my uh, limit break here, because it will instantly kill all the adds. They don't have a lot of life but this is the best way that i found to handle the end of the fight because from this point it's just a turn and burn so let's move on to the next boss for the final boss you have the Tonberry King this made me so nostalgic ah oh, Tonberries i gotta love it this fight is a healing intensive fight and it kinda checks your tank to see how much damage he can take exactly we took this a little bit of a different route because typically you would have a ranged DPS burning down Tonberries in the meantime while you know everyone else burns down the Tonberry King. Small Tonberries will spawn through the fight around the edges of the room 
and the whole thing is he uses Rancor, which each Tom Brady that reaches him will give him a stack, and then I think it's after 20 to 30 seconds of the actual activation of the Rancor, he'll blow all the stacks to directly damage the tank for a massive amount. So what we had here was a monk with his Fist of Wind on, and that handled all the ads. I don't believe he got a single stack. For the last point here, you can see the Tomberry Slashers in the distance. Those guys are really mean. If you hit them once, or even get too close to them, they will be a one-shot kill. This is a soft and rage on them, essentially. So what you want to do here is just kind of run towards the center a little bit, stay away from the Slashers, and burn the living piss out of the Tomberry King. This is a really good point where if you have a single target DPS like a Dragoon or a Monk, it would really, really help your group to go ahead and use that limit break because it will take, you know, at least half of what you see right now. And you're actually going to see that happen. It's a little bit delayed because uh, I wasn't sure if I was supposed to use it or, you know, this is my first time through and the healer's trying to give direction while the fight's going. So Monk took a second, but it was fun. Anyway, we're going to wrap up with a kill here in just a moment. So, if you like the video, thumbs up, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep shelling them out. <laughs> um, anyway, alright. Until next time, ladies and gents. This is Bulgout.